Hi. Welcome to the Cast Host video tutorials. In this lesson, I will show you how to use the Auto DJ software. Let's start by making sure you have the Auto DJ enabled. Take a look on the left panel of your server's dashboard for an Auto DJ section. If this section is not visible, the Auto DJ is most likely disabled. This setting can only be changed while your server is stopped. Click the stop link within the server section of the left panel. Then navigate to the settings link within the configuration section of the left panel. Select the Auto DJ tab and look for the Auto DJ status. Click on the drop down and select Enable. Make sure to save these changes by clicking the Update button on the bottom of the page. Now you should be able to see the Auto DJ section within the left panel with three more options to choose from. Let's start by uploading MP3 files to the server by clicking the Files link within the Auto DJ section of the left panel. Find and click the Upload button located on the bottom of the page. Subsequently, click on the Select Files button to open up the prompt to locate your files internally on your device. You can select multiple files at the same time to speed up the process. Click the Open button once you are done and the files will start to upload immediately. Once the overall progress bar shows 100% complete, you can close the window. To return to the main dashboard, click the Return button on the bottom left of the page. Now that we have figured out how to upload tracks to your station server, let's set up a playlist for them to be added to. Let's begin by clicking the playlist link below the Auto DJ section on the left hand panel. For the purposes of this video, we will be creating a new playlist but you can also edit existing ones from this page. Start by giving the playlist a title so you can distinguish it between others you may create later. Make sure the status is set to enabled so that it will actively play when it's supposed to. Now you can select the type of playlist you want from the following options. General rotation playlists are used to play media from your library when no other scheduled playlists are being played. This is the default playlist type, and most stations spend the majority of their air time playing random tracks from general rotation playlists. Scheduled playlists allow you to schedule a list of tracks to be played at a specific date and time. These playlists can also be set up to repeat on a schedule, making them ideal for daily or weekly countdowns or pre-recorded shows. Interval playlists allow you to play tracks at regular intervals of several minutes or several songs. These playlists are useful for playing frequently recurring content, such as station identification or commercial advertisements. Immediate playlists allow you to queue tracks to be played immediately after the end of the current track. These playlists are useful for playing tracks on demand, such as song requests. Feel free to pause the video to complete the creation of your playlist as we will now start to add tracks to them. Don't forget to click the save button at the bottom left when you are done. Click the media link under the auto DJ section on the left hand panel. Displayed in the upper middle area of the window, this pane contains the list of all of the artists in your media library. To select an artist, click on its entry in the list. You can select multiple artists by holding Ctrl or Shift on your keyboard while clicking them. To add all of an artist's tracks to a playlist, select one or more artists, then drag them with your mouse and drop them on the desired playlist. You can be more specific on what tracks to add by leaving the artists selected. This will populate the album list displayed in the upper right area of the window. You can select the albums and drag them with your mouse to drop them on the desired playlist the same way as you would from the artist list. Lastly, you can specify by individual tracks within the track list displayed across the lower portion of the page. Add them the same way as you would the previous lists. That concludes the Auto DJ video tutorial. Make sure to visit us at casthost.net.